Zoe Fargo and I did my project on sleep deprivation. I stayed up for 56 consecutive hours in order to test the effects of sleep deprivation and also creative insomnia. Reaction time, it fluctuated throughout the entire experiment and basic math skills, they actually increased nearing the end of the experiment, which is pretty cool. Uh, my name is Perth Shah. My hypothesis was yes, um, light can have an effect on your heart rate if caffeine, temperature, music and other things various elements can increase your heart rate as well as other functions in your body and I thought that light could as well as a whole bunch of other problems are in the world right now so I think that science could uh, somehow change how those things uh, work right now. My name is Lily Preekshat and my project is called burning calories. My dad told me about a way that you could measure calories using household items. Uh, I was surprised, but the marshmallow actually had the least. It got me um, wondering why that might be. There's a lot of things in the world generally that happen and we don't know why. And with science, we can find out why it happens, how it happens, and how we can um, either change it or make it better. Well, I'm Rico Sasakamus of Taku First Nation. And I'm Jordan Ive, and I'm also from Taku First Nation. Our project was to uh, ask um, what uh, was what kind of rock has the uh, most heat capacity in them? Like, like what's the best rock to use in a sweat like sweat lodge ceremony? It just makes me curious about all of the different things in here, like like how natural things work. Because I like to do hands-on things, and I like to ask questions and solve these questions myself. I'm Julia Free, and I'm Melissa Beckham. As we took fingerprints of people who have cancer and people who don't have cancer, and basically we compared the two percentages to see if we could diagnose cancer with your fingerprints. Um, we believed that we could find a diagnostic tool that would be easy to use and prevent future generations from catching cancer too late and ending their lives too soon. My name is Rachel and for my project I tested thermal tolerance in lake whitefish embryos and I found that embryos from a shallow warm lake, which was Blackstrap Lake, they were able to survive higher temperatures than the embryos taken from two deeper lakes. I just find it really interesting to be able to investigate a question that you have rather than just being handed the curriculum and being told what to learn.